Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make a transition scene for a Scratch project. So right now I'm inside my project and I've got a blank sprite that I've called Overlay. When I go to the costumes, what I'm going to do is give it a solid backdrop. So like maybe this color, something like this. And to do that, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna draw a rectangle and just basically stretch it so that it covers up the whole background. And then I'm going to add in some text that will uh, indicate that something is changing in our transition. So like one hour later, dot, 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 something like that. Um, let me make it bigger, too big, sorry. Okay, so something like this. So this is um, what I want for my transition very basic, just gonna say one hour later. Now, it's not showing, because right now it's hiding, but if I were to show it, it's doing that. So it looks a little weird. So what we want to do is we want to make it so that when we press the green flag, we don't see our transition, unless we're gonna start with it, and we want to tell it to go to the center of the screen. So we're gonna say, go to zero, zero. So, hides, goes to zero, zero. Okay, now to make the message appear, I'm gonna have it so that it fades in and then fades out. So it's gonna like be like, fade in, one hour later, fade out, goes away. So to do that, I'm going to create a message. So the message is going to be uh, fade in, fade in. So when I receive fade in, I want to make sure that we cannot see this. So we're going to set the ghost effect to 100, so this will make it invisible. And I wanna make sure that it's in front of everything. Uh, you noticed earlier that when it was showing the crab and the uh, curtain is in front of it. So we wanna make sure that it goes in front, boop, so that it covers up everything else. And then we wanna actually make it so that it shows. So when we start, we don't see it. Now when we do the fade in so far, when we click this, it's going to have it set the ghost effect make it go to the front and show. Now to actually make it fade in and out, we're going to change the ghost effect by like minus four. And so we could do that. <laughs> that was supposed to go inside of it, but okay. By 25, okay, so fade in, we run this. Ah, so it made it appear one hour later. And now we're going to um, create something that is similar to this for the fade out. So we're going to create a new message in here under the events. And this one is going to be a fade out. Dun, dun, dun. And we're going to repeat so that it will change the looks, add to the ghost effect. We're gonna repeat this 25 times, four, not color, ghost. And then we're going to finally make it hide at the end. Okay, so fade out will make it Pew. go away. So green flag is clicked. It runs it so that it hides it. It goes through the center. When we do this fade in, it's gonna make it appear. And when we do this fade out, it's gonna make it go away. Now to actually make this code run on its own, we need to broadcast the message. And we're gonna use broadcast and wait. So we're going to say broadcast fade in and wait and broadcast fade out and wait. The reason why is because this will not run the next set of code until this whole thing finishes. So we fade in, it'll run all of this code, and then it'll go to the next block, which I want it to be a little wait, so that way people can read this better. And then after waiting two seconds, it's going to broadcast all of this so that it fades out. So to run this code, we simply use these uh, blocks in this order, so that way you fade in, wait, fade out, and you can do this on any sprite, so it'll make it say one hour wait later, wait two seconds, and then make it fade out. So that's all the code that you need. Pretty simple, right? Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high quality professional development.